Okay, we've got pitched up, um, but we're not quite level. We couldn't quite find a level pitch. Well, for whatever reason, it's helpful to level up. So here's why it's important to do it, and here's what we need to do. Right, let's go and get the chocks. Right, get your chock in position, angle it up, and this is the key bit. Push or kick it under the tyre a little bit. It needs to be square with the vehicle. As with um, jacking a vehicle or anything like that, when you're driving up your chocks, have everyone well away from them. Don't be tempted to have, a, have your partner hold the chock in place while you drive up it, because if the clutch slips, you'll break their arm. So put it in place, leave it there, then drive up it. Okay, we've got our spirit level in place. Um, now, it's important to level your fridge uh, for it to work at its optimum level. Some fridges aren't very tilt tolerant. If you've got a three-way fridge, i.e. you've got vents in the outside, um, they're not very tilt tolerant, so it's a good idea to get them level. The other issue is your hob. Obviously, if you've got pans sliding around, it can be a bit dangerous, so that's another reason to level it. Also, your washroom. Not all washrooms have twin drain holes so you tend to get water collecting in the shower tray this particular one does but a lot of older vans will only have one drain point so for these reasons it's it's a good idea to get it level and if your bed's not flat then obviously you run the danger of falling off it Right, we're going to back it down now, keeping an eye on our level bubble, and then try and get it level. Right, look to the bubble, we're level, time to switch off. Remember to leave it in gear, handbrake on. Okay, so we're level, pans won't slide off the hob, and the fridge will work. 